Hello, Moreau Hall Hawks. It's Miss Jolly here. I'm very excited about this year's March Madness theme of kindness. What's better than kindness? I'm going to read a story to you all about kindness today called Extra Yarn. This story is by Mac Barnett and illustrated by John Classen. And it's also a Caldecott honor book, this little medal right here. So let's find out what happens in Extra Yarn. On a cold afternoon in a cold little town where everywhere you looked was either the white of snow or the black of soot from chimneys, Annabelle found a box filled with yarn of every color. So she went home and knit herself a sweater. And when Annabelle was done, she had some extra yarn. So she knit a sweater for Mars too, but there was still extra yarn. There's Mars, her little dog. And when Annabelle and Mars went for a walk, Nate pointed and laughed and said, you two look ridiculous. You're just jealous, said Annabelle. No, I'm not, said Nate. But it turned out he was. And even after she'd made a sweater for Nate and his dog, and for herself and for Mars, she still had extra yarn. At school, Annabelle's classmates could not stop talking about her sweater. Quiet, shouted Mr. Norman. Quiet, everyone. Annabelle, that sweater of yours is a terrible distraction. I cannot teach with everyone turning around to look at you. Then I'll knit one for everyone, Annabelle said, so they won't have to turn around. Impossible, said Mr. Norman. You can't. But it turned out she could. And she did, even for Mr. Norman. And when she was done, Annabelle still had extra yarn. It's like the never ending ball of yarn. So she knit sweaters for her mom and dad and for Mr. Pendleton and Mrs. Pendleton and for Dr. Palmer and for little Lewis. She made sweaters for everyone, except Mr. Crabtree, who never wore sweaters or even long pants, and who would stand in his shorts with snow up to his knees. No sweater for me, said Mr. Crabtree. So she made Mr. Crabtree a hat. And even then, Annabelle still had extra yarn. She made sweaters for all the dogs and all the cats and for other animals too. Soon, people thought, soon Annabelle will run out of yarn. But it turned out she didn't. So Annabelle made sweaters for things that didn't even wear sweaters. Mailboxes, houses. Things began to change in that little town. So bright and colorful. News spread of this remarkable girl who never ran out of yarn and people came to visit from around the world to see all the sweaters and to shake Annabelle's hand. One day, an archduke who was very fond of clothes sailed across the sea and demanded to see Annabelle. Here's the Archduke. Little girl, said the Archduke, I would like to buy that miraculous box of yarn, and I'm willing to offer you one million dollars. No, thank you, said Annabelle, who was knitting a sweater for a pickup truck. 
the Archduke's mustache twitched. Two million, he said. Annabelle shook her head. No thanks. Ten million, shouted the Archduke. Take it or leave it. Leave it, said Annabelle. I won't sell the yarn. And she didn't. So that night, the Archduke hired three robbers to break into Annabelle's house, and they stole the box and took it to the Archduke, who set off across the snow and sailed over the sea. Back to his castle. The Archduke put on his favorite song and sat in his best chair. Then he took out the box and he lifted its lid and he looked inside. His mustache quivered. It shivered. It trembled. What's in the box? The Archduke hurled the box out the window and shouted, Little girl, I curse you with my family's curse. You will never be happy again. But oh, what came back? It turned out she was. She knit a beautiful sweater for the tree. The end. What a special little girl Annabelle was. That was a great story, boys and girls. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that I get to read again to you this March Madness.